Welcome to Dajobnik. Well, joining me now is Tal Heinrich, spokesperson for the Israeli Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu. Tal, thanks indeed for joining us on BBC News. When the Prime Minister says today that there is no other solution other than total victory, does that mean a complete rejection now of these talks aimed at agreeing some sort of truce to get the Israeli hostages home? Oh, not at all, Katrina. We believe that these two goals that we have defined for the operation in Gaza um, after Hamas dragged us into this war following the October 7th massacre, which is the release of the hostages and also the elimination of Hamas, they're not contradictory. Uh, uh, they go hand in hand. Um, we believe that the military pressure, the heavy military pressure that we're exerting on the ground in Gaza is what created the conditions, for example, back in November, to reach a diplomatic uh, framework uh, by which we saw the release of uh, some of the hostages. Now, we want our stolen people back. There are 136 hostages in Gaza. We believe that about 100 of them are still alive, and we want all of them back. Um, we will continue to hit Hamas terrorists on the ground in Gaza very, very hard as we continue to pursue the diplomatic avenue as uh, Secretary of State Anthony Blinken uh, just referred to, he but, said that just, Hamas just conditions jump, were a non-starter. Just to jump um, in there, the Tal, uh, sorry, just to jump in because we don't have much time now. I want to cover yeah, these sure. points. Uh, the, the Secretary of State Anthony Blinken did talk today about there being space for these negotiations to continue. How does that align with what the Prime Minister said and where is that space for those negotiations? So we don't really discuss the nature of these talks going on behind the scenes or the terms that are being discussed because human lives hang in the balance here. But the prime minister did articulate um, a few red lines, things that are simply unacceptable. For, for instance, we will not uh, pull all of our forces out of Gaza as part of a potential hostage deal. Um, we will accomplish the uh, goals of this war as we have defined them, which is the release of the hostages, uh, making sure that Gaza will Will never ever pose a, a terror threats to Israel again, and the full elimination of Hamas as an organized war machine, um, and uh, and we will achieve that. Also, there will not be a release of thousands of terrorists in exchange. But what about the issues, for example, allowing humanitarian aid in? The Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, again saying Israel has been dehumanized by the attacks. The hostages have been dehumanized, but that does not give Israel the license to dehumanize the people of Gaza, Many, most of whom, the majority of whom, he said, have nothing to do with Hamas. We are not dehumanizing the people of Gaza. On the contrary, the ones doing it are Hamas. But they are the be, ones doing this. Israel has taken as, as unprecedented this. steps in uh, counterterrorism, urban warfare, okay, to minimize just... the civilian suffering in Gaza and civilian casualties in Gaza. Hamas is doing everything uh, to maximize them. Nevertheless, we are Tal, sorry the to interrupt there, but nevertheless, more than 28,000 people, according to a figure from the Hamas-led health ministry, but more than 28,000 people have been killed. Almost 2 million people have been displaced. Thousands have been injured. We see the extent of the humanitarian crisis there, the starvation, the threat of famine, etc. Secretary of State Blinken is saying, would Israel be prepared to open the crossing at Eretz to let more aid into the north? Would, is that something you might consider? Well, we are examining um, uh, these options, but we have opened more uh, border crossings for inspections. Israel's, you know, is Israel's mission in, in what pertains to the district, to the humanitarian aid entering Gaza is to examine the trucks that are coming in so we can make sure that they will not pose uh, a threat to us and don't contain any kind of ammunition as they go into the strip. We have access capacity to examine these trucks, more trucks that are actually coming in. But the problem is, if you listen carefully to what the prime minister said today, that our estimation is that about 60 percent of the aid coming in into Gaza is being stolen by Hamas. And the backlog is not on our end. It's not on Israel's end, but rather the organizations that are distributing this aid. Oh. Um, so we want to see more humanitarian aid as much as possible, reaching the Palestinian civilians in Gaza. And in fact, we place no limitations on water, food supplies, medical supplies entering the Gaza Strip okay. since the very beginning of the war. Okay, Tal Heinrich, well, that is a point that would be disputed by many of the aid agencies. They say there are restrictions there, but we do have to leave it there for the moment. We're out of time. Tal Heinrich, spokesperson for the Israeli Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, thanks for joining us on BBC News. Thank you.
Thanks for watching. Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and hit subscribe to stay updated with our latest content. Until next time, stay informed and inspired. This is Dajobnik signing off.